Hey everyone, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly set up my Capture Flag plugin, all three game modes, into your own map. So first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and download it. You can get it from a site under Downloads, then Show Prefabs, and top off will CTF Prefab version 2. Click that, download it, and then just extract it to your desktop. Inside you'll get a Sound Models Materials folder. You're going to want to copy those over your current one to get the models and materials and sounds. There's also flag template.png. This is the template used to create the flag models, I mean the flag materials. Uh, if you want to reskin the flag, just do a reskin in Photoshop or MS Paint or something, then go to materials, models, flag, save it as VTF, and overwrite the blue and red texture. But now we'll just jump right in and I'll show you how to config this. First, load up your map and also the flag map should be located on your desktop. We'll do one flag first. Okay. So one flag is rather simple to configure. First, you just want to click over on the right side under Viz Groups, select flag, mark, and then press Control X. This will cut the flag from your map. And come into your map and go ahead and just paste it into the middle. Because typically you want this flag to be in the middle because there's only one of them. It's the struggle match. So then we come back over here. Select blue capture point. Control X. And then you just want to paste this one into the blue capture point area. Then you want to jump back over here. Select red capture zone. Control X. And go ahead and paste this one in over your red capture point area. Come back over here. Select scoreboard. Mark. Control X. Back over here. Paste it on the wall somewhere. Now, scoreboard does only go up to five. I'll talk more about that in a second. And come over here. Select logic. Mark. Control X. And then back into your level. The logic does not need to go anywhere specific it just has to be in your level now I'll show you guys how you can customize this game mode a little bit the scoreboard is set to go 0 through 5 and that's it over here the entities are these are the entities that make the plugin work these are the sound files for flag taken blue team scores yada 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 if you don't like them just delete them here are the scoring entities right here the math counters and logic case if you want to increase or decrease the amount of captures that you need for a level, you can just go ahead and change the maximum legal value on the math counter. This is the amount of caps that you need. If you set the cap to over 5, that is fine, but the scoreboard will not display anymore. I used a logic case here to display the numbers. You're just going to have to go ahead and jump in here and add the new numbers in. That's all you're going to have to do. If you want to fire a console command, rather than having the game end after a team wins where this says on hit max for both of these end game just send a server command to the point server command right here and that's all you have to do but default it is set to set the next map up so it'll keep keep the capture flag maps going next I'll show you how to set up the two flag version Let's go ahead and open that up. Two flags. Alright, like before, we have a red and blue capture point. So select mark, control X. I'll paste these in really quick. And then again, we also have logic. So just click mark, X. Paste it in your level. Come back here. And now we have the scoreboard. Once again, press X. Go ahead, throw it on the wall come back over here now we have red flag and blue flag so you just want to press select red flag press control X and place it in the red base then come over here select blue flag control X and place it in the blue base so this this game mode is there's a flag at each base the other team must take the flag bring it back to their base to their capture point to win again the scoreboard is set to five captures to win 
relatively same logic system that I have going here. There's just a couple different entities set up. We have the two math counters to fire the game wind. You can change the maximum value. Again, only goes to five on the scoreboard and then end game. You can also change the hint text that pops up when you come up. That is just the end HUD hint. One of these is in every capture the flag prefab. It just says you have the flag, bring it back to your bay, bring it back to your capture point to score. Pretty general. You can customize that if you like. There are more sounds for this one because it's red flag taken, red flag dropped, blue flag taken, blue flag dropped, instead of just flag taken and flag dropped. So that's all for this one. Now we'll just go ahead and configure the final one now, which seems to be the most difficult for people to get a grasp on. So we'll just come over into this other map. Just go ahead and load up the five flag prefab. Now this one, there is a lot more to it than any of the other prefabs that are out there for the capture the flag ones. Again, we'll get the basic ones down really quick. We'll grab the logic, press control X, go ahead and paste that just anywhere into our level. Come over here, we'll grab the blue capture zone. Let's go ahead and mark that and paste that over. Now you'll notice that there are a lot of trigger multiples here. So don't worry if your computer lags a little bit while resizing them. There's a lot for it to do. I'll grab the red flag, the red capture point, I mean. Go ahead and place that over their capture point. Now we have a couple different things here. Again, we have the scoreboard, but it's also a 10 minute countdown clock. So we can just hit mark on that, press control X. Back to our map here, paste it on the wall. And now we're left with flags, blue flag display, and red flag displays. First we'll grab flags, press control X, then come and paste them into our level. Now, all the flags should be grouped into subgroups. So if you come over the right side, hit select groups, you can select each flag individually. Or if they're not grouped for you, just draw a box over each one and then press enter and it should select everything in that area now for reasons of preventing glitches you should not have your flags be touching while they're sitting idle so you just want to go ahead and stagger them a little bit but again you should have more room in your level than I do here grab this last one put it right there okay so now we have our five different flags so don't have any of these touching because it can cause some errors you should not even have them be close to each other actually they shouldn't cause errors but you never know just to be safe okay now we'll drop back into the prefab we'll select blue flag displays press X Come over to the blue base, control V, and it has these five things here. These are the flag displays. Just like the flags, you do not want these to touch like I have them set up here. So just go ahead and draw a box over each one. You'll select it and then you can just kind of grab it, pull it away. Then the next one, grab it, pull it away next one grab it pull it away and then just line them up on the wall so they're not touching and you'll also notice that there is a little pedestal on the bottom you can go ahead and change that that's just a funk detail just stock what I packaged with it just grab the red flag display press control X over here bring them down to the ground they're touching and then grab them pull them away and now I'll tell I'll show you guys how to configure some of this 
you will notice that there are a lot more uh, logic entities in this one than the other ones, mainly for all the filters. First off, we have the scoreboard with a timer on it. How this game mode works is there is 10 minutes to capture as many flags as you can, and after that time, whoever has more flags wins. Or whoever has six flags, I mean five flags, at any given time. So whoever has all the flags at one time will win. You just want to leave this alone, really, unless you want to get rid of the clock. That's really of an optional thing. Now over here, we have these sounds. They're rather simple again. There's blue flag taken, red flag taken, flag dropped, and uh, flag taken. We have the same math counter system again, although I do not recommend that you change the maximum legal value for this one seen as our five flags it's made for five points if you add another flag in it will not work you will have to rework quite a bit of this so don't do that unless you know what you're doing some of the other things that you can do is extend or shorten the time given by this these are done with the math counters over on the wall here and one second into the match it sets the time at 9 minutes and 59 seconds with a 1 second delay that makes it 10 minutes so if you want to change it to say 5 minutes set this to 4.59 with a delay of 1 second is 5 minutes and we also have a game uh, command here to say a game is set to a 10 minute round capture as many flags as you can in this time and then on map spawn times up trigger delay of 600 seconds this is the actual time that it is so you want to set this to if you want it to only be five minutes you need to set this to 300 seconds so it's the time the minutes and seconds that you would have it be again you can delete the sounds do whatever you want with it and i do recommend that you change the level after this one always change the level i hope that this helped you set up ctf mod in your own map if you have any questions leave a comment question send me an email Thanks.